Guys, for one, you keep asking me about what to breed, how to breed, what do I think about this breeding, and I respect it, I understand, and I even told some people, you asking me about your dogs makes me uncomfortable, and I don't get uncomfortable easy because I'm abrasive. And in me being abrasive, it's off-putting to people. It makes them a little scared. They say, I think this guy's crazy. And that is all true. For one, you want to like, subscribe, and share. We thank you for watching. If I can help, and if I have helped, please continue to help yourself. That's the most important part of this. But let me walk you through something very minor. One of the reasons why I did a few breedings and have done some of the breedings we've done. Something, something so small that you wouldn't see that I saw. Top part of Zara's pedigree is an XL. Bottom part, more terrier, standard. I hate a dog that drools. I don't like no drool on me. And what is, happens when that dog drools? Here's that little lip thing. So let's look at Zara. Zara, we're laying down. Look at this right here. So when I pull her cheek down, see that right there? That right there drives somebody like me crazy. Look at that thing. <laughs> so she's got a pretty tight face. Tight skin, no wrinkles here, and look at that little lip. That little lip thing would be something that I'm like, I gotta fix. Now, how do you fix it? We're about to go in here. We'll show you Baloo, and this is just something like this. So when people say, Hey, what do you think about these dogs? What do you think about these colors? I'd be like this, my man. I don't know. I can't say. I'm not breeding for that. We breed for performance. I don't care about the biggest head. I don't care about the... I need a dog that can work, move, uh, live, learn, make it to 30. Realistically, about 15 to 20 would be ideal. Let's go take a balloon. Now, again, you saw just that, just that little lip. That little lip come down. She get to drinking that water. Ooh, I can't. I wouldn't wish... I, I probably would wish drooling on my worst enemy because then the cops would catch him. <laughs> he was acting up. Smart thing we do since we got pups is we rotate shoes. So all shoes stay out here, people. Uh oh, don't do it. <laughs> to keep the room in there clean. Let's go in here and see Baloo. Hopefully they didn't tear nothing up. I let him out for a little bit. What are you doing, dude? Shut that door behind you. Baloo, man. Baloo, man. He's a baby kid. Oh, God, he's kind of heavy. So now look at here. Look at the, look at these tight cheeks here. Block, look. I pull down, you can't even see it on Baloo. See that there? You get back here in this light. See that? You pull that down, it's not there. Tight, tight, tight cheeks, tight face. Literally. Pull it down, not there. <laughs> Just a little lip. Mind you, I know you women like y'all getting them lip plus lips now. Everybody adding a little lip to themselves. Now let's show you Bam Bam and Cha Cha. Now we saw Zara's whole thing. You, I pulled on a little bit, it's hanging down. Somebody like me, it could be that little, that simple. I'm like, I'm breathing to get rid of the lip. Baloo, Baloo, relax. Relax, Baloo. Relax, Baloo. Hey, 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 what's up, tight? Woo! Well, y'all wild up. <laughs> uh, back up, back up, back up. They fired up. They might need to go. Nah, I'll let y'all in a second. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> so now let's go in here and look at Cha Cha and Bam Bam. I'm gonna cut this light off so y'all can see. <sighs> bam bam! Good boy. Come on. Oh, you wanna stretch every time. Now again, look at this here. Look at that little lip. Pull this down here. See what's left over. Pull this down here. Look at that. Just that little bit right there. And for the most part, <laughs> Super tight cheeks. Isn't that crazy? Something that little. Pull this down, I'll pull it down here. It don't stay. It's that little lip. Wanted to fix that. Go back in there, I'll let you understand. Look at Cha-Cha. Then we're gonna go back in and show you Zara. Come in, Cha-Cha. She don't even wanna cooperate. Again, let's get over here. See that little lip right there? She get it from her mama. She probably got the most. Boom. Mm -hmm. Pull it down right there. See that? That little lip. So just in tighten up that little lip. And again, let's go back in. See Zara. I'm about to go. Y'all got two miles. One o'clock. So you can see what I'm talking about. And now mind you, that's just me starting at the head. I ain't got to the feet, the chest, the rear. 
bone placement, angulation, none of that other stuff. Now watch again. I'm about to grab Zara's space, pull down. Look at that. See how that lip? Pull down just like I did them. That little lip right there. I want to tighten up just that little part. And y'all asking me about color. <laughs> y'all asking me about what makes the most money. Y'all asking me about how to do. We're not breeding for the same intent. I want a dog. If you take a look on ESPN at the, um, was it the Whippet, I believe? Was it the Whippet? Which one's got the double most? I think it is the Whippet. If you take a look at the Whippet and what it was able to do, the dog broke the world record, and get this, for running the 60, right? And it had a muzzle on. Some of y'all dogs couldn't walk down the street without, uh, <sighs> your dog couldn't walk down the street without struggling. And here a dog is, broke the world record, and he was muzzled the whole time. So you go, that's interesting. That's interesting. His movement, his, his, and here's the thing. How much energy the dog used when moving is the key. He's using no extra movement. He don't even need more oxygen. His VO2 max is crazy. So when I say performance, try to find a video. I mean performance because I don't know any dog that can outperform a whippet. And that right there was like, godly, I'm looking at that thing from a different eye. Here we go. Fastest dog. He got a muzzle on. 5.944 just set. Oh, that was a great start. You'll see. Muzzle on. Performance. Imagine one of them dogs coming that fast after he ain't never opened his mouth yet. Because he's just getting warmed up. You didn't ran 1.2 miles running from my dog. He like this. Come on, buddy. <laughs> he, he really just talking with you because he's on his way. But the dog is unfazed. Now, mind you, that was a speed race. Normally, in speed races, you're supposed to hold your breath. Some of y'all bullies would struggle. I don't want that. So even when I'm thinking about correcting breathing, I'm like, hmm, where should the lips be? Where should the nose be? That's why I said I like a three-finger snoot at least so that they can get a good amount of oxygen. What does oxygen really do for the dog in affecting its quality of life? And even more important, the ability to absorb and utilize nutri nutrients. How do you optimize nutrition? Back in the day, everybody was taking NO2, right? To get what? More nitrogen in their blood, per se, to feed the muscles more so they can grow a little bit faster, per se. Or just make the muscles look more full. Nitrogen balance or even absorbing protein better. It's a lot that goes into this, but I wanted to paint a picture as you got to. And feel free to go back, freeze frame. Again, freeze frame. Everything. Screenshot and say, damn. Or slow down and review those parts where you say, damn, he, he's, he bred just to solve a lip problem. <laughs> Something that small for me so I can potentially improve breeding. Now, here's another trick. Here's a book I would recommend. You get him. To learn more about the impact of structure. So structure and action. This right here, pros, cons, benefits, challenges, and opportunity. Front assembly, for instance. Shoulder set. Look at where these shoulders are. Look at where that shoulder set. Depending on where the shoulders and the angulations of the shoulders, you could be cutting off range of motion. So you don't want a dog with a short neck. It talks about the risk that come with straight shoulders and wrinkles. Dang, how do wrinkles, how do wrinkles impact my dog's movement? All right here, this is your Easter egg for this particular video. Structure in action, the making of a durable dog. As I said before, people, we are breeding with intent, with purpose, with drive, with a level of focus, and most importantly, with patience. Patience is the name of this game. They tell you it's a virtue all the time. Some of y'all want to get there quick, but you can't go there fast, no way. A plane just gets you to your destination a little bit faster, but you still got to know where you're going once you get off the plane. So, as always, like, subscribe, share. Thank you for watching. I'll do my best to try to teach you some more things about what you... I ain't going to tell you what to look for. I, I was going to say what you should look for. We have a plan here. We're not telling anybody to follow a plan. I've encouraged you to have a plan. But the most important thing out of all this, people, just to take care of the dogs.